Hello and welcome to my review of the Hater 41 Pro. Um, as you may or may not know, Hater brought out a new um, Harrier 41 lineup for this year. Um, also included this new Pro version, which um, I was a bit uh, surprised they did when I saw it at Soltex last year. As you can see, that thing's out there. It's got a Honda engine, which is a very good move. One huge bumper, which as you can see, is working well. And one thing I do like is the sticker. <laughs> it's all little individual stickers, which must be a bit of a nightmare for the poor sod of hater that's got to do it. But uh, it's a lot nicer than the uh, previous one. Um, a few other new things compared with the well current mowers I suppose is the wheels are um, a lot bigger certainly a lot softer um, can't really tell there but they look a bit better maybe if they could have cut out some fancy pattern in the middle might look a bit nicer but doesn't matter too much um, one thing I don't like is this wash port thing which is obviously a bit of a, a Toro influence um, commercial people don't have time at the end of every job to um, find a hose make sure there is enough hose wash it make some mess on the patio clear that up it is not going to happen that's a um, bad design in my view um, but the rest of it is very good design as I said it's got the Honda engine which is very good this height adjuster it's got all the uh, different numbers just reference but it's nice and nice and smooth nice and smooth to, to use for your end of it yeah that's all good have had a problem which they fixed very quickly if you can see in there don't know if you can but just up for that second height bar there's a little clip that holds this height adjuster on um, and that fell off in the spring down there went walkies and other stuff that I do like with this mower is just all this bloody wasp is all this detail things like this it's all very nice um, this handle is very handy uh, to lift it get more cable detail down here and a few little modern I suppose features like this cable loop thing whatever you want to call it um, but the main reason that uh, I wanted this mower um, was because it's supposed to be good in the wet um, it is good in the wet up to a point no mower is going to be fantastic in the wet um, I got rid of my 48 Pro to have this which I think is more efficient due to the fact it's got practically the same sort of power because these Honda engines are better than Briggs um, the bag you can see it's much more straighter angle than the uh, current pros which means it bags better it does have a better blade on it now I've just got a uh, broom handle to lift up the flap just to show you that bloody wasp um, what it's like the problem I find is this chute down the bottom there it's too deep <laughs> I don't know if that's on purpose or what but that's it's a long way to throw cut wet clover grass mainly um, not all clover but uh, that certainly doesn't help and as you can see it's all filthy and it's because it gets used um, it does bag very well it does get full um, 
but uh, yeah, I mean, it's very good and dry, certainly. It's extremely quick, <laughs> um, almost too quick to be fair. Um, but everything is nice to use. Um, this handle grip is quite nice. Um, it's fully replaceable, do that. And uh, could be easier with two hands. Right? Um, so, I was just going to show you underneath um, the blade. Um, probably could say that it's like a Honda blade. Um, they have a lot of holes in, and there you are. I have just scraped the deck because it was filthy. Um, now it is a very deep deck which does help that the wasp is still here um, still got the fins which does make a difference and yes it's just a nice simple gearbox plastic roller which is quite handy because it's quiet when you're going over tarmac another hold services um, and yes it's a you know I need to give it a sharpen it's a uh, a few non grassy things but uh, still still does well so just to give some of my final opinion if you will it's a very good mower as I said I bought it and replaced my 48 Pro because the 48 Pro and the 56 Pro are useless I'm sure hater must know this they're useless in the wet I'm not gonna sugarcoat it it useless um, and this should keep everything absolutely clean, which you're not going to do at the end of every strain. Um, the engine is better, um, certainly does help. This is only a four ish horsepower engine. Um, and yes, as I said, I've replaced the, the 19 inch 48. Um, yes, this is three inches smaller, but because it bags so much better. Um, it is effectively more efficient. I've used this on lawns, which I used the 48 on previously, and it takes about the same amount of time and it cuts lower. Um, not that not that the height adjustment system is lower, but I can get lower easier and bags all nice and easy. Um, the Bumper, I wouldn't use a bumper generally, just just limits room in small areas, but that's nothing major. The um, bag is very good, probably will need to give it a clean up at some point and just allow the airflow. And yeah, everything else is normal hater stuff, but one thing I would definitely change is get rid of that wash port. Um, Domestic people will probably use it, but uh, I don't think it's worth having.